Okay, I think we're recording now. I sure hope so. All right. So, in typical fashion, I'm getting a late start to my day. And I am going to the Indian Heaven Wilderness again. Different section this time. Somewhere, if I have been there, it hasn't been since I was a kid. Because I'm on a bit of a mission here. There's this lake up there somewhere that I used to go fishing with my grandpa with when I was little. And I never got a straight answer out of him what the name of the lake was. And nobody else went with us. And he's dead. So, it's just been kind of me trying to figure this out. But I think I know where it is. And I'm going to try to go there today. And I'm going to try to catch something. Found trailhead. Uh, it's not something that's marked on any of my maps. I found the uh, Forest Service listing for it and where they said it was. And then I just put a pin on Google Maps to get here. But there's definitely a trailhead. And up here we've got the standard Forest Service trailhead marker. Placid Lake, Indian Heavy Wilderness. Got to fill out our wilderness permit here. And then we'll get going. Got my GPS tracking. And we are off to the races. I still don't know if this is the trail to the lake that I remember. But I intend to find out. Anywho, it appears I am maybe more than halfway to the lake from the trailhead right now. That's Placid Lake though, that's not the one I want to go to. It goes down there, but the trail's not marked. There's a lake, Placid. Good God, can't step anywhere. Super confusing, but I finally figured it out. It was when I came in right here, trail doubles back right here. That was what I couldn't quite grasp because the map had it marked in a different spot. So, all right. We're back on track. We're good to go. Oh, here we go. I'm about to shut the camera off. Got another coral. And I'm with some violet. Looks like it wants to be eaten. I don't know. I'll eat this one. I'm not that interested. There's these ones I just found. Which actually might be a Russula species. Totally edible. But I don't know and I can't check right now. Continuation of Placid Lake Trail number 29. Shenamus Lake Trail 29A. It ain't on the map. But here it is. Now this trail parallels a creek. It really looks like a mosquito breeding pit to me. But I wanted to take a quick look here. See what kind of tracks we got. Deer, I think? Deer? No, that's elk. Never mind. Which makes sense. Elk. Yeah. 
I don't know, I thought it'd be a little more interesting, I guess not. However, in other news, this is starting to look like the trail that I remember. That's an Amanita, all right. Down the bow eats. Old one. Ew, it's like squishy. Ew. That one looks better. I found a patch of lingonberries back there, but apparently I wasn't affording when I thought I was. So, uh, let me go back and show you. Side note though, this does appear to be the lake that I remember from my childhood. Split into two portions. That was the uh, clear defining factor from my memory of it. That and the campsite by the water back there. However, I seem to remember this little passage right here being a lot shallower. Uh, but that doesn't really mean much. And I found a uh, coast cutlery pocket knife right there that I had for years and then I lost it or it got stolen. I'm not really sure. But it looks like a couple of things have changed and who knows, maybe it is shallower than it was. I don't know how fishable this is at this point. Alright, well I'm going to go back and find those lingon berries and then uh, maybe I'll head back to class and try fishing there instead. Here's some right here. Lingon berries, right? And as I was saying the first time around, they taste like candy. They are so freaking good. And I don't know anywhere else you can find them. Besides up here. Blueberry break. Uh, but as I'm up here by myself, I should probably take some, uh... oh sorry, not blueberries. Vaccinium. Yeah, you heard me. Anyway, I should find uh, some more of those lingon berries and take them home. So my wife can try them. She's never had them before. There's some down in here. I'm gonna get a bag. Well, 10 minutes passed and I really only managed to collect a handful of those, but it is what it is. They're a pain to collect. So, let's stop for some water. And then uh, get moving on back to Placid. Uh, there's reports that uh, Betty White has been feeding cattle to a giant alligator. Uh, we'll go and meet up with Bill Pullman and Oliver Platt. See what that's all about. So even if it didn't look particularly fishable, I'd say it was worth it for the lingon berries. Not to mention the huckleberries everywhere. And the uh, vacciniums, Carly. Uh -huh. I don't know. They taste like a huckleberry, but they look like a blueberry. I understand the confusion. All right, have to find a gator. This. Look at how. That's weird. Ew. I feel like I know what these ones are. But I can't remember. So I'm going to leave them. By the way, shout out to Rock Eastwood Outdoors for giving me this bag. It's been awesome, Rocky. And you're awesome. Best dude around. Here's my fishing gear. Zip pad, water, snacks, everything I'm going to need. And uh, this video is still a tad shaky. 
You can also thank him in the future for fixing that because he's given me a gimbal. It's all to the earth, this dude. If you're not following him, you should. Um, his content's a little bit different than mine, but he's been doing a series lately uh, summiting all the mountains of Japan. Which has just been spectacular. I mean, the crowds there are something else, but that is what it is. The views are amazing. It's no wonder it draws so many people. So, check them out if you haven't. Okay, here I am back at Placid. I'll try some fishing here. I just have to find a better spot than this way right here. Probably off that direction. Sure if it's better to try to skirt the lake or try to go through there. I'll we'll just try to skirt the lake. I haven't seen any uh, poison oak or poison sumac up here. I haven't noticed any ticks. Alright, I'm gonna find a spot to fish and get back with you. Okay, I think I found a decent spot to get there. You see that color change right there? That's because the water gets deeper right there. And that's where the fish are going to be. Now, it might be beneficial for me to go more this direction, but I'm going to see if I can get out there for now, see how it goes. Don't panic. You see that? Nails. That means this is a dog. We don't have wolves. It's too big for coyote. It's a dog. So there's a nice little rocky point right there I'm gonna start with. Wish me luck. So we got a power bait wacky worm with a power bait egg. See how this goes. Well, nothing so far over here. I'm gonna head over to the other end where there's logs and shade and such and uh, try my luck that way. Actually, you probably can't see me. Now you can see me. I'm gonna head that way, try my luck. Call it a hunch. I don't think anybody's been through here recently. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, I am over here now, and it's a lot shallower than it looked. But yeah, this water is super shallow. I'm probably not going to have any luck over here, but... Good God! There's nowhere safe to step here. It's crazy. Right over there is where I was fishing from a little bit ago. It just isn't getting any better over here. It's all so shallow. I did not know. Well, probably too late in the day to really be catching anything here anyway, unless I wanted to stay to dusk, but I don't. I'm only here for a day trip. So, I'm going to skirt my way back around and, uh, I don't know, maybe find something I can get on the way out. We'll see. By the way, a little tip I don't think I've shared on video, but when you're in a coniferous forest like this, you can still find, well, at least in this area, you can still find these alders that grow along the shorelines and they've usually got some dead undergrowth that you can grab. That's good hardwood firewood. And I think I'm going to try to get back on the trail over here. Oh. Told you there was elk here. Look, one laid eggs.
That's pretty cool. It's all dead. Looked around it. It's a uh, silver fur. Doing good. These little hemlocks. Another campsite over here. Passed another one back there. I didn't bother recording. Plenty of opportunity. Another great looking Amanita muscaria. Somebody's been snacking on it. Alright, pit stop in Skamania. Not exactly pit stop actually. Because there's a dock down there I'm going to try fishing off of. I've caught stuff there before. Especially this time of day. Good shot some bass, so I'm gonna give that a go. Try to get something out of the day at any rate. Alright, well, fishing was a bust today, but that's okay. The time was still had. See you next time. Mm -hmm.